talk is not that bad today. Thanks for joining me. How are you guys doing today? Time for another episode of Bitcoin and Coffee, and I'll be your host, Eugene Forrest. So, what are we looking at here with the cryptocurrency market? Well, it looks like we got a little bit of some correction today. Uh, it looks like the price is pulling back. Most of it is not. It looks like it's uh, anywhere between 2 and 8% on most of them. Uh, you know, Bitcoin's doing the best here. They're only down 1.6%. Uh, so let's try to do this real quick. We'll do a quick run through here. We got $98.9 billion for a market cap. That's not the greatest. We're under the $100 billion mark, but it looks like a lot of the price pullback and the drop in the market cap is due to the price of the altcoins coming down. We got $2.8 billion traded in the last 24 hours. Um, you know, that's pretty low for a trading volume, uh, considering that our highs are up in the $5 billion. So, I mean... You know, that's, uh, it could be leading to part of this situation. Uh, we got 41.6% for a BTC dominance. Uh, you know, that's up considering that we had been under 40% for quite a while now, uh, you know, on and off. Here we go. We got BTC at 2508. That's down 1.6%. Uh, you know, I'm pretty satisfied with that price. Uh, I'm liking BTC at around the $2,500 mark. Uh, I'd like to see us continue, you know, for a week or so at this before we start to see any kind of gain so that we can set some stability in here. And we can also ease some of the minds of the people who were having and falling into the FUD that was occurring over the, the drop in Ethereum and cryptocurrency prices several days back. Uh, we got Ethereum. They took a 9% drop. They're looking at 282 um, you know. And these things are going to be expected. And I keep saying the, my, the same things over and over again. Ethereum is new. You know, this is one of the more recent cryptocurrencies that's on the market that has, uh, you know, started seeing triple digit dollar signs. And um, it hasn't been time tested well enough. You know, they do keep having problems with uh, they're getting to the point of having congestion on the network. Uh, they have a lot of ICOs that seem like they're coming out every other day. Um, you know, they had that flash crash showing that the exchanges are still, you know, not quite developed far enough along to prevent market manipulation. So we got Ripple coming in at 25.9 cents. That's down 2.7%. That's not that bad. Uh, we got Litecoin coming in at a little over $40. That's down 3%. Uh, you know, hey, at least we're over $40 with Litecoin. You know, we, we like to keep it in that area. We'd like to get it back up to 50, which are the all-time highs. And then I'd like to see it surpass that definitely by the end of the year. Uh, fingers crossed on a $100 Litecoin, right? Uh, we got some problems going on with Ethereum Classic. I think that's what's driving the price down a bit. We're coming in at $18.31. Uh, that's down 5%. We also got down 5% on NEM. That's 15.6 cents. So apparently the silent sleeper sleeping. We got uh, Dash coming in at $177. That's down 2.5%. We got Monero rolling in at $43.12. That's down 4.8%. We got Zcash down 8.8% coming in at 2.92, and we're looking at Steam at a dollar 64. That's down 7%, and the Steam back dollar is coming in at a buck 36. That's down 12.2%. I don't think I'd sell those off today. You can get closer to two bucks with them. Um, you know, Steam being at a dollar 64. That's not really all that bad either. Uh, you know, maybe if the price of Steam came down a little bit, I could up my Steam power easier, right? So. What are we looking at here today for news on BNC? Well, first up, I got that um, Ethereum Classic. Uh, they lost control of their domain name. There was a hack on it. They, uh, you know, two FA authentication from a phone number was used. They were able to get control of it. They were quickly able to shut that down and get back control of it. Um, but they got warnings up that there's some phishing attempts going on with the Ethereum Classic wallet. Um, you know, as always, you know, you got to be careful out there. The, there. You have to assume that at all points in time, somebody is out there trying to get a hold of your cryptocurrency whenever you're doing anything with it. Because if you're, you know, a cryptocurrency holder, you're holding value that is going to be exponentially growing into the future. And the stuff's hard to come by, right? So uh, a lot of people, they don't have money for it, but they have computer skills. So they're out there, you know, manipulating that market, typing away, hacking, doing what they can do to try to get a hold of your cryptocurrency. So, I mean, if you got it, you got to lock it away. You got to take care of it. You got to protect it. And don't look at the dollar value of what it is now. Look at the dollar value of what it's going to be in the future, because that will tell you how much effort you need to be putting into and protecting it, right? So uh, next up, I got a little bit on Japan here. Um, yes, 
cryptocurrency and Bitcoin, you know, it's been become legal tender over there. Uh, you know, they got businesses starting to accept it, but uh, currently they've been having a problem where it's being double taxed, uh, you know, like we were seeing in Australia, which they've taken care of it more recently. But as you, um, you know, go to purchase Bitcoin, they're paying up to 8% tax on top of it. Again, they have to pay tax when they go and spend it and everything else. So they're going to be fixing that and hopefully that will increase, you know, uh, adoption for Bitcoin over there. Uh, hopefully it will help increase the value of it because people aren't having to pay, you know, double premiums when they're buying it from an exchange because not only are they being taxed, but then they're having to pay the premium at the exchange for purchasing. I mean, you know, so what, I mean, you could be looking to up to 13% on purchasing Bitcoin. Ooh, that's a steep fee I wouldn't want to pay. Um, and the last little bit of news I got here for you is that Colombia, they're not really um, pro-Bitcoin. I mean, they're saying that it's not banned, but it's not necessarily authorized as a form of currency. Uh, you know, they're leaning on it and saying that it's a pon like that there's a lot of Ponzi schemes, there's a lot of scams going around with it. Um, and they're, they're saying that they could throw up to 20 years jail time at somebody who's involved in a cryptocurrency and a Ponzi scheme or scam, you know, that's uh, manipulating people. So, I mean, this is uh, another country, you know, every country is going to be different on how they look at Bitcoin and how they interact with it. You know, some countries like Japan are embracing it. Uh, Saudi Arabia is not really embracing it. And I mean, they're shooting to be the blockchain city of the future by hopefully 2020. And then we have people like Colombia that are not really embracing it as quickly and are sitting here potentially throwing people. Well, I mean, if you are out there pulling scams and you're, you know, caught by the government, you should be doing some jail time. Hopefully this will be more of a deterrent from keeping people from doing illegal activities over there uh, you know considering that it's also probably not one of the most uh, wealthiest countries uh, I don't know I mean uh, we, we don't need to see this kind of government regulation this isn't really what I like to see from governments I like to see governments embracing cryptocurrency a little bit more because it'll help with the promotion and adoption of cryptocurrency into the future um, you know, uh, I, I'm more of about the positive feed and the acceptance of Bitcoin and not the whole much of getting cryptocurrency out there to the masses through the form of negative publicity. Um, you know, so, I mean, I, I hope that Col or Columbia can turn around some of their ideals here in the future and start accepting Bitcoin a little bit more. But at the moment, you know, if you're in Colombia or you're traveling through there with your Bitcoin, you know, uh, be careful, you know, uh, make sure that you're not doing anything illegal over there because uh, I'd hate to see you go away for 20 years, right? So let me take a moment and talk to you guys. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about how my sound quality is not the best. Uh, you know, I have received some donations for a mic. Um, and I mean, I'm just going to be honest. I've been cheap. I'm cheap. I hate spending money. I hate spending money on myself most of. Uh, I'm a little bit of a miser. But... Uh, you know, I had been feeling real bad about it and uh, I feel like I owe you guys more and I owe you guys better. So I broke down and uh, yesterday I spent cryptocurrency and I bought a, a new laptop. Probably it'll be the best piece of equipment I have in my house uh, for electronics. And um, my good buddy Sasha pitched in and uh, he bought a mic, a really good mic, and he's having it sent here to my house. So I got to say thank you for that, Sasha. Uh, you're such a good buddy. Uh, you know, I really appreciate all the support you've uh, given my show over the last five months. Uh, you know, I mean, you're a friend. So, uh, you know, with all that being said, uh, I'm looking at getting the laptop on the 18th and the mic on the 6th. So hopefully, uh, you know, by the 20th here, I'll have everything all set up and I'll be able to provide you guys with some much better imaging and sound. Uh, maybe then I'll be able to get to maybe doing some live broadcasts. You know, fingers crossed on that one, too. Um, you know, I'm sorry about it taking so long, you guys. Uh, you know, I'm stubborn. <laughs> what can I say? But, so if you like everything I got going on here on Bitcoin and Coffee, hit that subscribe button. I mean, we just passed 1,600 followers on Steam It. Please go over there and upvote my post. I mean, I love it. Uh, you know, I... I wasn't really pro Steam in the beginning. Uh, a lot of people were saying that, you know, when Steam first came out, that going on to Steam It was pretty much just Steam It promoting Steam It. And, you know, I, I didn't know if I had embraced it enough to see if that was actually true. But now that I've started embracing Steam It, uh, 
I'm really enjoying it. I, I'm liking my time I'm spending over there. Uh, I'm loving how fast I'm seeing the followers grow. Uh, I'm loving getting free cryptocurrency out of the situation. Uh, you know, I told you guys the other day I had my first post that, well, my first two posts that one that passed 50 and one that passed 100, and uh, I'm loving it. You know, I mean, that, that's amazing. Uh, it, that's a this concept of having a social media platform where I can post my content and not have to ask you guys for donations or get you guys to use affiliation codes. Which I do have to say thank you to the person who used my affiliation code for Genesis Mining last night. Thanks, buddy. Um, but you know, to just have them pay me so that I can produce this content for you guys. And if you like it, you know, you hit, you know, the upvote, which is pretty much, I'm calling it a like button. If you like my stuff, you hit it, you give me, it, it upvotes me and self-perpetuating money for itself, which helps me pay for this, which could eventually turn this into a full-time job. So I could, uh, you know, not do this in the first two and a half hours in the morning before I get up. That would be amazing. So I got all sorts of affiliation codes down below to uh, help you guys out finding hard wallets, uh, to hook you up at Genesis Mining. I got donational address, um, and I got tools down there to help you guys build your own Steam posts and make them look better. Uh, I also got um, links down there to help you guys navigate these cryptocurrency markets, uh, avoid scams, uh, find paper wallets. Um, you know, I'm always changing that list down there. So if you haven't looked at it in a while, you might want to check it out. Uh, and if there's any suggestions that you guys got of something that you think that should be on my list to help out new people, you know, someone had said to me at one point about, you know, that uh, I was going to have 20,000 followers, 25,000 followers at some point. And, you know, I like this small knit community that we're creating here. You know, I look for your input as well on how to be able to, um, you know, pass information along to people who are new into cryptocurrency because I mean just like you guys you know I've only been in the space for a year I'm still figuring stuff out too so I think that the best way to tackle this cryptocurrency thing is for us to all work together as a unit and that way we can all prosper together because I mean a lot of people out there in the world are still asleep on this and we're awake to the situation so let's start collecting that cryptocurrency and remember keep your Bitcoin safe